this video, I will be demonstrating using fundamental identities in trigonometry, part of uh, pre-calculus. So when solving with identities, you have to memorize five different um, groups of identities. So the first group is known as the reciprocal identities. These reciprocal identities are actually pretty easy to remember. You have sine x equals 1 over cosecant x. And it's basically the reciprocal of what is given to you. So that's an easy way to remember it. So then cosine x will equal 1 over secant x. Tan x, 1 over cotan x. And then the same way you have sine x equals um, cosecant x, you will have cosecant x is equal to 1 over sine x. Secant x is equal to 1 over cosine x. And then cotan x is equal to 1 over tan x. And these are known as your reciprocal identities. Your next group of identities, hopefully we could fit right here, yeah is called the quotient identities. And these are denoted by tan x equals sine x over cosine x. An easy way to remember that is when you learn your trig functions, you learn them as sine x, sine, cosine, and tan, right? So just think of it, sine comes first, then cosine. And that's all equal to tan. So tan x equals sine x over cosine x. So then cotan x will just be the reciprocal. So cosine x over sine x. And these are known as the quotient identities. Okay, so we have two down, three more to go. The next um, group is known as the Pythagorean identities. And the same way you have the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, something similar to that. You're going to have sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. You also have 1 plus tan squared x equals secant squared x. And you have 1 plus cotan squared x equals cosecant squared x. For me, a way I remembered um, these identities, so sine comes first when you memorize them, then cosine, then tan. Now you have 1 plus tan squared equals secant squared x. So think of it like, since sine usually comes first, think of it like backwards, secant will come first secant in relation to the cosine, and then cosecant in relation to the sine. So, let me erase this. Sine, tan. And these are very, very important to memorize. And you have to remember, without these squares, this these formulas aren't going to work. So you need to make sure that these squares... Are there and you can manipulate these formulas too so for example sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1 cos squared x is the same thing as 1 minus sine squared x so you can manipulate these which is important to keep in mind because you will have to manipulate them in problems like these um the next set is called the quotient identities. And you have sine pi over 2 minus x equals cos x. Then you have cos x, I mean cos pi over 2, I'm sorry, minus x equals sine. So they're like opposites. Sine, sine pi over 2 minus x gave you cosine. 
and then cosine pi over 2 minus x gives you sine. Good so far, right? Okay. Next one. Tan. Tan will just give you cotan x. So from these, we can already tell cosecant pi over 2. If sine gave you cosine, then cosecant, which is the reciprocal of sine, is going to give us secant, right? <coughs> Sorry. And then secant pi over 2 minus x will give you cosine. I mean, sine. Cosecant. And then cotan pi over 2 minus x will give you tan x. So far, so good, right? So you see sine give you cosine in the same way cosecant give you secant. And then cosine give you sine. Secant give you cosecant. Tan give you cotan. And cotan give you tan. That's how I remembered them. And our last one are known as the even odd identities. So you have sine negative a sine of negative x is equal to negative sine x. Cosine negative x is equal to cosine x. Tan negative x is equal to negative tan x. Cosecant negative x negative cosecant. An important thing about the even odd ones, all of them have a negative as their resultant except cosine and of course secant. So you have secant of negative x is going to be secant x. The rest of them have the negative sign. Negative, negative, and then cotan of negative x, negative cotan x. Cosine and its reciprocal of secant are the only ones that don't have the negative. And there you have your trig identities, a way to memorize them. I hope it helps.